Hey guys, Camp Calendar here, bringing back part two of the MSI concept that we're doing in this eight-part series on eight streams of income. So this is what we're looking at here in these streams of income. The second stream of income that we're looking at is profit income. So profit income, as it states, shows here buying and selling. So this is the types of incomes that we're looking at here, Forex traders, uh, drop shippers, wholesalers, direct sales, affiliate sales, all pretty much all around parts of sales. It's when you're looking at, you're buying something, you know, buying materials or a finished product, you're buying it at one price and looking at it to resell it higher at, a, at buying it at wholesale, looking to sell it at retail or at a higher price point so that you can earn a profit. You know, it's pretty straightforward, but profit income really has no limits to how much you can earn with it because you have that profit margin. That's where your margins come in, what you could, what it costs to make or develop your product and how much you can sell it for. So the more that you can sell, the more money that you can make. So that's really where it comes in with this income stream, you know, tying in back to the first part in the earned income. A lot of people start at a job, they earn up an, a, their money there, and then they purchase products on the side and they then resell them, you know, or materials on the side and they build it into something else, you know, and hone into their craft and, you know, they build different things or make different little, you know, trinkets or merchandise, you know, whatever it happens to be, or they get into a brand, you know, maybe selling clothes or anything of that nature. So those are just some of the ideas, you know, that come from profit income. But with this income stream, sky's the limit, you know, it, you're not really based on, you know, like a job where you're paid on your time or your salary and your performance at work, you're paid based on results. So whatever results you can achieve, that's your sales ratio. So, you know, depending on how many times you go out and pitch your product or, you know, how many trade shows you attend or wherever you're marketing your product at, you know, wherever that happens to be, how many, how many sales you can make is going to determine your income style your income, you know, profit range in this, in this space. So when you have that margin of profits, you know, say you earn, you know, 10, 20% margins, depending on whatever your product is, whenever you sell that product, if you're going to make $10 for every sale, $20 for every sale, $50 for every sale, whatever that, that margin is, that profit margin, you know, that just, you're going to just have to multiply that by how many sales that you're going to need to make the income level that you want. So it's pretty straightforward when you have profit income and that's what you're looking at with profit income is making sure that you keep your sales going. So the more sales, more money you're going to make time over time. But the thing with profit income is if you're not making any sales, you're not making any money at all. That's why it's better develop multiple streams of income. So you have other income streams when sales are down, when the season is slow or something changes in the market, you have another income stream that you can depend on. So you're not just stuck on one in income stream. That's why we're going over all eight income streams. So we'll be covering more of the different income streams on each video part. So we'll go over each income stream, all eight parts, and then we'll have a full video in the end kind of showing you how some of these crossover and inter interchange with each other very nicely. But the thing of the matter is, is you want to make sure that you have more than one income stream because, you know, just as we say, you know, here at the MSI concept, one stream just isn't enough. It's not possible to, to do it anymore on one stream of income. You know, so many things happen to us in live and you want to be able to, you know, have a safety net and bulletproof yourself around these different things that can come at you and many different ways. So this is what we want here to help you with at the MSI concept is to make sure that you have these other income streams. So if something does happen, you have something else to fall back on. So that's what we're looking at with having multiple streams of income built up. You know, if you have a slow sales season or you don't hit as many sales as you were hoping to, then bam, you have another income stream that's in there that's built in that you've already developed and working on. So it's like, okay, we wanted to go out and hit 10 sales. We only got five. But guess what? We have this other income stream that we've developed and now that's working for us as well. So we have that kind of net, that safety net built in by developing another income stream. So that's what we're looking at here with the MSI concept and these multiple streams of income. So we'll keep going over each of the different income streams each, each time that we drop a new video. So this is just part two. We're going through all eight income streams. So if you definitely like the content, you want to hear more on the different income streams, definitely like, subscribe and share so that we can keep this content going and we'll try to drop as many videos as we can on each of these different topics and keep on going through all eight of the income streams and then a full recap video showing you how, they, how the different income streams connect. So I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. And remember, one stream just isn't enough.